Okay, hello. Welcome back to SimSelf Chaos Nonsense. We are on house number five. So we have five new people that we've not played with yet. And let's see, one of them is going to change their job. That is so nice, so easy, great. Here are our options who live in this house. We have Goose, Jacqueline, Cats, Misty, and Leanne. So Misty doesn't even have a job yet. Let's see if we get her. It looks like we will. She just moved into our house. And so we're going to get her a job since she needs to change jobs. That's what we're going to do right now. So they live here in this giant sprawling house. And we're going to be playing Misty, who is apparently at Planet Honey Pop. So we're going to go, go ahead. We're going to go ahead first thing and get her a job. And then we will see what her aspirations are and what things she wants to do. Please don't be family oriented or we're going to have to have another baby. I feel like that's all we're doing is having babies right now. Okay, well, she wants to, this is her, she already has a job. So we're going to have to get rid, of course, she has big happy family as her thing. Also, it happens to be beer day. So I guess it's a good thing we're out here. She wants to drink beer or any alcoholic drink. Um, so let's have her order a drink. We'll do a sweet and spicy. She wants to flirt with Wendy because she's an acquaintance with her and play the guitar. Well, there is a guitar here that we bought the other day when we were here with Shona. So I will let her practice the guitar. And then let's roll for another job. We will have her find a job. Okay. And it can be anything but the social media job she has right now. Well, there she goes. Getting a little guitar practice in while he's mixing up her drink. Hugo Villarreal work, is working in here right now. And he's feeling very flirty. Of course, she wants to have a child. Oh, she likes guitar. Okay, that's fine. Uh, she wants to have a child. Pick a number 1 to 38. That would be 14. All right. Let's see. There's 10, 11, 12, 13. Engineer is what she's going to do. All right. Getting her a new job. Yes. So we need to get a robot station. Oh, she needs to write a product report at a computer. So we've got to find a computer, but right now we're here at the bar. Wow, there's so many people here. Oh, does she want to become squeamish? Pick a number one to two. The answer is two. No, she does not want to become squeamish. Squeamish. Wow, I can't even talk. Okay, clearly I have turned on the, um, the situation where she can get drunk, and I did not intend to do that. So now I have to figure out how to turn it off. All right. Well, clearly I just need to take her home and put her to sleep. And once we get home, I can disable it. I just can't disable it from out here. Who else is here? That's Allie. Oh, she just left. There's Vance. Vague, I mean. All right, Misty, go home. I had to grab a poster because we were right here. So why not? All right, Misty, three o'clock in the morning. She is a little bit hungry. Maybe somebody's made food at home we can use. Ooh, snowy snowy everywhere i don't know why i called it snowy but oh my gosh this is the house still that has all the broken things in it i think what we'll do we have eleven thousand dollars so i think i'm just gonna hire a repair person and we'll just see what they do okay and then i will get her in here wow it is so disgustingly dirty in this house they're playing in the house that everybody else was in um, there are trash piles everywhere. I don't see, oh, there's the mold. I was going to say, I don't see the mold. We're just going to set off a bomb for the mold. So here she comes. She's dazed from being drunk, but also she's dazed from being voodooed in this house. There we go. Nice. Oh, why is she, why is she doing that? Um, I don't know what that just did, but okay. She needs to eat and go to sleep. Let's see about food. Is there... Any leftovers? No. So we're going to grab something little, a quick meal. Let's just grab some animal crackers and then let's check the bedding situation upstairs. Oh, I know. We're not going to have all of the negative lot traits on. That's what we were discussing in the last one. We have all of them on here. So we're going to keep these on, but not, and, and we do have mold on 
but we will be able to get rid of the mold with our little mold be gone whatever thingy. Anyway, she was supposed to be calling uh, the other people, but she hasn't yet. Okay, so our main bedroom is over here. This is where we're going to put Leanne because she's the adult. Then Goose will be next and Goose is going to be assigned this bed. Although Goose is asleep right now in a different bed. Then Jacqueline will be assigned to this bed. Then over here, that's all in this room or in that section of this room. Yes. Okay. Then this will be Misty's bed. And she's so incredibly tired that we are sending her up to bed right now. And then this will be Kat's bed. And so now everybody in the house has a bed. Misty is probably, actually, let's assign this bed to Misty because she is going to have a baby based on the fact that that's what she wants to do right now. So we're going to assign this bed to her and she's going to lay down and sleep in it soon. <laughs> At least the animal crackers are just what she wanted. All right, it says the repair person is coming, so hopefully they will just come repair all the things. I don't know what they're going to do, but we'll find out while Misty is asleep. Oh, it's the first official day of spring. Here comes our repair person, Fatima Gom Gomari, or Fatima, maybe. Okay, well, they seem to be repairing their second object since they arrived. Oh, that one didn't quite get repaired. Let's see the work situation that we have. Oh, she doesn't go to work for two days. So we really don't have to do anything else. I did want to get a jump on her work assignment. But that means we have to have a computer that works. And I think down here in our office we have, yeah, we have two computers that work. Write the product report. There we go. So when she wakes up, that's what she can work on. Oh, we're still fixing things. Okay, it's almost one in the afternoon, but she is finally awake. She wants to finish a painting and have a child. I don't know why I saved, why I pinned have a child. I mean, we will because that's the aspiration that she also has. But we're going to let her do her thing over here. And then if any of these, look at this cool painting. It's a medium pop art painting by Jude. I love that. Where can I put it? I mean, right now I'll just have to put it down there on the floor. So... I'm going to let her go to the bathroom. Do we have a working toilet downstairs? I know one of these toilets was working, and now they're both broken. Do we have a repair person here? This toilet's working. Oh, is this the same one? Yes, it is. She is like, y'all, this house is real broke down. We can't hire another repair service because they've already, they're already here. Okay, it is almost 8 o'clock at night, and literally we have still not finished the painting. However... We did hire another, oh, by the way, she didn't have any winter clothes. She was naked, so I copied what Katz was wearing, and so now she and Katz have the same winter clothes on. So she wants to finish a painting. She's feeling really good, though, so I guess when she finishes the painting, the only thing left to do is become a parent. I think since we've done other kind of babies with other people, Recently, we will do an adoption because we haven't done that in a while. And then we'll just randomize what kind of kid she adopts. Because it does say she can adopt a child using the computer or phone. Oh, she wants to do another painting. Okay. Adopting a child is 1,000 simoleons. Oh, and it's Kat's birthday today? I'll have to look. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Pick a number 1 to 18. The answer is 7. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Connor is joining the house. Misty's last name is what? Simself. So Connor Simself. Oh, look at what Leanne's doing. Cleaning mold. That's how she lives her life. Good job, Leanne. Thank you. Misty is going to the adoption agency to get Connor. That's fantastic. We're going to have a kid living in the house. It says the repair service has already been hired, but I don't know where the repair person is. I mean, there's plenty of things in this house that need to be repaired, so I don't see them on this floor. Let's see. Leanne, are you going to clean more mold? I didn't know there was any more mold. Oh, in her bathroom, maybe? Oh, no, she's just coming in here to clean the sink. No more mold. But I do not see the repair person. So, maybe we don't 
actually have one. But when I click on this, it says repair service already scheduled. So it won't let me click on it. That's fine. I'm just waiting on her to get back with Connor. And then we have a couple hours before this day is over. And we've done everything we need to do in this house. Connor's himself. There we go. Welcome. Welcome, Connor. We're going to put Connor in this bedroom up here, the yellow bedroom. Because I thought we needed her over there in that room. Because I thought she was going to have her own... Like, I thought it would be a baby, but Misty did not have a baby. And she wants to help with the child's homework and play the piano. Do we have a piano? I thought somebody else wanted to play the piano as well. Oh, yeah, we do have a piano. There you go. Practice the piano, girl. She's done what she needs to do for work. She's had a child. She wants to read to him and socialize with him, but we're going to give him a chance to, like, get situated. He wants to be a playtime captain. He has what looks like red eyes can't really get a look at him there we go yeah red eyes that's a very cool shirt that he is wearing there oh it looks like Jacqueline is sick she has spots on her in here mopping the floors let's see if Misty can call again no she still can't hire the repair service so all right she did what she wanted to do now she wants to kiss someone I'm gonna save the homework thing because she can help Connor with his homework let me make sure Connor is in school Yes, he is. Okay, great. Oh, he has some skills. No, he has no skills. Okay. All right. Well, he's going to watch TV. All right. Well, I think that's it. We're going to call that a win. I'm going to let her come back in here and finish this painting that she started earlier because she finished this small abstract painting. So let's have her come paint. It looks like this painting is going to match her outfit. That's cute. But that means that we are finished with this household. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the fire? It's in here. I see it. I see it. Who's on fire? <gasps> our sweet baby Connor that just joined our house. Absolutely not. He can't route to safety. He's on fire. Um, new adopted mom has to come put him out. Connor's on fire, girl. Come put him out. Connor, what can Connor do? He can't do anything. Please come extinguish your child, Misty. Misty, stop painting. Your brand new child that you just adopted is on fire. No, no. Yeah, you're going to extinguish. Extinguish. Why are you going that direction? Oh, she's going in this door. Okay, Misty, come on. Oh, Jacqueline's got it. Jacqueline's got it. Oh, Misty is doing it from outside. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Connor's like, new mom, you just saved my life. Misty, absolutely not. We're not doing that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we have to replace that. That costs a lot of money. You might as well come clean this floor. Wow, what a way to end this day. I was literally saying... We could go, I don't know what else burned. Something that was on there, I guess. Uh, who knew the fireplace was like burning people up? Well, she socialized with her ten, with her son, child, one time. Here we go. They're just chatting it up. All right, it is 12.06. We are going out to Manage Worlds, and we're going to see what the next thing is. So this is the next household. Janie, Heather, Shona, Cynthia, Katie, and Yuki. And we're going to open the, wait, let me save one more time. And then we're going to open the spinner and see what we're going to be doing over at house number one this time. So I want something that is a little bit different, I think. Um, something that we haven't gotten before. Oh, no. Move in the next elder who passes by. That is so funny. Okay, so let's see who we're going to be controlling in this house. We just did Shona last time, so she unlocked the thing, and it looks like it's going to be Katie. No, Yuki. All right, Yuki has got to go find an elder for us to move in to this house, and then we will add the new elder onto the wheel. So here's our house number one. It's not a big house, and we're about to add another person to it. But let me find Yuki right here. All right. This is Yuki's bed. I'm just going to go ahead and send her to sleep. Let me remind myself about her job. She is a an artist, and she goes to work at 9 in the morning, and she has started no paintings tonight or yet today. Maybe this office, if we move this chair, we can get us some space for a an easel. All right, there we go. We're going to let her do a classic 
large classic painting after she's had some sleep. Maybe Janie will cook something. Wait, wasn't somebody just using the grill? Where's the grill? Oh, right here. Cynthia is out here cooking. So we'll let her grab a serving. Actually, we'll do that before we paint. Shona made these. Wow, they are making all kind of meals out here. Let me check traits, make sure she is not... Okay, I just wanted to make sure she was not a um, vegetarian before I fed her this food for dinner. Everybody appears to be awake except for Yuki. Oh, they're all hanging out here in the kitchen. Everybody but Yuki. Katie's killing me wearing those sunglasses in here. I can almost get everybody's face except half of Heather's and half of Shona's. But everybody but Yuki is down here in the kitchen. All right, Yuki is awake. Here we go. Okay, Cynthia might like writing. Pick a number one to two. The answer is two. Nope. Not yet, Cynthia. All right, Yuki is practicing her painting to get ready for work. And I am going to go down to the road. Where is a road near their house? Wow, they live kind of in the middle of nowhere. Oh, here's somebody walking. Are you an elder? Because if so, you get to join our house. Nope, an adult. Hey, she's the one that was just repairing my other house. Okay, Fatima or Fatima. I'm not sure how we say it, but I'm just going to stay a little bit zoomed out in this park area and just see if we see anybody walking by. All right, our house is up here, and I don't think people walk right here. Maybe they do. Oh, no, I can't even click right there. So what can I click on? We can go down here. Like this overlook area. Otherwise, we have to come down here. And then what? We can wade in this water, it says. So I guess we can come down this way and go through here and get into this area. So I guess there is a way to get there. Well, is that still same person? Okay. One person is out here in the cold. I'm just letting Yuki keep painting while I'm looking. Oh, we have a new person walking in. An adult. And an adult. Yuki got level three painting. Great job. Katie has to go to school in an hour. Elder. Elder, elder. We have a new person moving into our house. Adrian Livingston. Elder. And there we go. Adrian Livingston is... Oh. Lady of the Knits. Oh, great. This person is a cat lover. Neat. Mean and amuser, whatever that means. And Adrian does not have a job. Well, let's rectify that immediately. And Yuki has done what she set out to do. And she has completed what she was trying to do. Pick a number one to 39. It's nine. All right. Conservationist is what Adrian is going to do. All right, Adrian. Thanks for joining our house. Enjoy. Should Adrian get a jump on the assignment? Pick a number one to two. It's two. No. Adrian is fine with what he has been doing. Now, let's get Adrian a bed, though. Did we not have an, an extra spot for Adrian? We're going to put Adrian in here with Heather. We're going to give them identical beds since they're the oldest people in the house. And so this bed will be assigned to Adrian. All right, Adrian, welcome. Welcome to our family. Yuki is going to chat. What does she need? That's probably what she needs. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty painting that Yuki made. Uh-oh. No, Katie's going by herself. Yuki goes to work in an hour. We've literally already done what Yuki wanted to do for the day. It's so nice when that happens. She does want to listen to some music. Okay, she wants to listen to singer-songwriter music and winter holiday music. So, let's do that right here. Singer-songwriter music. Shona's like, uh, I can see the trash from up here. <laughs> Whatever she's talking about. Okay, great. Now let's listen to... Or let's listen to... Yeah, no, change. Change station to winter holiday music. Oh my gosh, Shona's down here yelling at us or what? Okay, she wants to paint a mural and become friends with Cynthia. Isn't that cute? What if we do a mural on one of the rooms of our house? I saw this room right here. This room needs a mural. 
it has a spot that we could put the mural. Okay, let's try it. I've never done that on the inside of a house, but I saw Nikki do it in her stuff, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, it perfectly covers that room. I know, I'm sorry. I need to move y'all's bed to the other side of the wall so that Yuki can paint y'all a mural in here. All right, Yuki, let's try it and see what happens. Let's paint a, what? She can't do that? Let's do a city mural. Oh, after you go to work. She's going to work first. Then she can paint it later. But she did the two listening things that she wanted to do with the radio. Janie, why are you here? Do you have work? Let me look at Janie while we're waiting on... Oh, that's right. She has a freelance situation. So next, every time we play her, we should try to do a gig. But I guess in between there, she won't work on a gig. Okay, Yuki is off to work and she'll be home at 5 o'clock. All right, Yuki is home from work. We didn't get a promotion today, but let's look. Oh, no, we did. Promoted to Art Book Collator. Great. Heather and Cynthia are also home from work. Let's come in here and get us some leftovers. Maybe chat with one of the Stray Cats. Wendy, this Stray Cat's name's Wendy. Let's do a cautious introduction to. Adrian, that moved in with us, has Cat Lover, I think, as one of their traits. Misty would like to come over and hang out. Absolutely, Misty. Yuki says, come right on over. Although Yuki's very tired, so we're going to hang out. We can hang out while we eat, but that's about all the time we have. Oh my gosh. Adrian wants to dislike it. Pick a number one to two. It's two. Oh, no, Wendy. I mean, oh my gosh, Wendy, what's the matter with me? Adrian, I think she ends up liking it, not disliking it, whatever. All right, Yuki is going to, oh wow, <laughs> Cynthia looks very tired. I think everybody in this house is pretty tired. Heather's already taken a nap in her room. We're going to send Yuki in here to go to sleep as well. I heard it's someone's birthday today. I brought you a cool gift. Woohoo, can I come in? Whose birthday is today? Oh, it's Katie's birthday. And Steve showed up. Her husband showed up for her birthday. Katie, let's go find Steve. He'll make you feel better. I'm going to control Katie for a second to invite Steve in. Steve is a teen and Katie is also a teen. But she's aging up today. I didn't know today was her birthday. So, dude, stop eating the hot dog and come let Steve in. Also, I don't know where Steve got these fabulous earrings, but dang. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he came over like, hey, all of the piercings that he has. She's feeling very flirty. Dang, Katie. Okay, so I've got to age Steve up to a young adult. Set age young adult for Steve. And then Yuki, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to come down here and make Katie a cake really quickly. Yuki's like, I'm about to pass out and you want me to make a cake. All right, Steve is a young adult and Yuki has come down. Steve is also somehow a neighbor. I don't know where Steve lives, but... We may, you guys can let me know what y'all think if Steve and Katie are married in real life. And so we could easily move Steve. Shona just fell down and I totally missed it. I just caught her standing back up. But we could move Steve into our house. That is a possible thing that we could do if you guys think we should do that. He came over and brought Katie a gift for her birthday. A tea magic personal tea brewer. That's adorable. Is that in her inventory or in our whole situation? Okay, that must be in our whole thing. Janie's in here talking to Yuki while she makes Katie's cake. Uh, she, this cat is right in her face screaming. <laughs> oh, and Misty finally showed up. There's Misty. Okay, wonderful. Put the cake down. Wait, we've got to put the candles on it so nobody will eat it. Then I'm going to control Katie to tell her to come down and blow the candles out. So that she can have her birthday. And then let me look at birthdays. I need to do that at every house when I get in. Okay, we're fine for everybody else's birthday. Yuki's going to go to the bathroom and then she's going to bed. Here's Katie blowing out her candles. There you go. Happy birthday, Katie. Aw, look at Steve and Misty are celebrating with her. Pick a number 1 to 15. The answer is 1. Oh, she's going to do friend of the animals. So I'm going to put her as an animal lover. We'll either do cat or dog, one or two. Pick a number one to two. The answer is one. Okay, cat lover. I know in real life she's a dog lover, but we're going to make her a dog lover since she got the friend of the animals. And I know in real life she has four dogs. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. 
Okay. There you go, Katie. Happy birthday. You're now a young adult. So is Steve. Welcome to young adulthood. Yuki is very tired. So all we're going to do is go put Yuki to bed. It's nine o'clock. We only have three hours till this episode is over. Listen, we got, we lucked out with two very easy things this time. Chaos rolls. So I'm not mad at it because I know that I need to enjoy these moments like this because it's not always going to be like this. So I am going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have added a sim self to the gallery. I know that somebody told me they did. And so as soon as I finish filming, I'm going to go get that person and add them into house number two. Because that's the next house down. We just added Janie into this house. So the next person that the next sim self that we add goes into house number two. So that's where I'm going to go put them. And... I think that is everything as far as that goes. If anybody else has made us himself, I will see it when I go over to the gallery. And yeah, that is going to be the end of it. There we go. I'm going to go out here to manage worlds so we can move them in. Okay, so I didn't have auto aging turned off. So all of our babies that were newborn babies have now become infants. So we have two infants in this house, one infant in this house, and then two toddlers in this house, which I think they aged up to toddlers anyway. I'm not sure. But anyway, we are going here to the gallery. We'll go to Amanda Play Sims, include custom content. And I know Mystic Green 66 has added Misty Morningstar and she wants to join. So I'm going to place her here in this lot. She can't move in because they have too many people. So she's going to move into house number three then with us. Okay, great. And then let me just go back and make sure those are for the ultimate decades. Okay, it looks like that's it. I've looked through all the rest of these. So, so when we come back, we will be playing house number two and house number three. How come house number two has a cat? Oh, ocean. Wow, the cat aged up. Aw, it was a little kitten, and now it's a big fluffy ball. Okay, Lynn got a cat. I forgot about it. So, in the next episode, we'll be playing Houses 2 and 3. Let me know if you have any ideas of things that need to go on the wheel or that you would like to see on the wheel, and I will just see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my channel members. As you have noticed, I am now including Chaos members' names on the end of my videos. So thank you so much for all of your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.